good morning students today we shall discuss the different types of kinematic chain so the different types of kinematic chain are four bar chain single slider chain and double slider chain and we shall see in detail what it is one by one so first one four bar chain the chain has four links as the name itself says it has four links and it looks like a cycle frame and hence it is also called as quadric cycle chain as you can see in the figure the <coughs> Link 1 is fixed and link 2, 3 are uh, movable. Link 2 is called crank and uh, link 3 is called connecting rod <coughs> and link 4 is called rocker. So here when the link 2 is um, rotating, uh, it transfers uh, the <coughs> motion from link 2 to link 4 through link 3 that is connecting rod. So this type of uh, uh, 4 bar chain has uh, all the 4 pairs are turning pairs. Here you can see that all the links are turning pairs. So uh, inversions of four bar chain mechanism. Uh, what is inversion we had studied in uh, earlier classes. So inversion is uh, uh, fixing of uh, any link we can get the different types of mechanism. Um, so in this um, four bar chain mechanism we have three inversions. First one is a beam engine or crank lever mechanism. Second one is coupling rod of locomotive or double crank mechanism and uh, the last inversion is watch straight line mechanism or double lever mechanism. We shall see these uh, uh, inversions in detail now. First one is beam engine or uh, crank and lever mechanism. So here as you can see that when the crank AB rotates about point A, uh, here they are marked A and they are not marked B. Uh, the um, point B is at link uh, at the end of uh, crank. Uh, you can see that they are marked A and they are not marked B. Uh, so B is the uh, point at the end of uh, uh, crank and there is a connecting rod and there is a um, rocker and uh, uh, you can see that at the end there is a vertical reciprocating motion. Uh, so um, here when the uh, crank rotates about point A. So when the crank is rotating about point A, it transfers motion to the connecting rod and through link 3. So link 3 here it will not rotate, it will only reciprocate about some, uh, uh, it will oscillate about some uh, limited distance. So here uh, this type of mechanism is used to convert the rotary motion into uh, reciprocating motion. So at the end um, you can see that the uh, vertical reciprocating motion is being taking place at the end. The piston is uh, reciprocating um, in top and bottom direction or to and fro direction. So you can uh, also um, make the uh, mechanism in, to work in inverse manner. So if you uh, reciprocate the uh, piston in uh, <coughs> inside the cylinder, the crank uh, it will rotate in uh, rotary motion. So this is how we can uh, uh, convert the motions into uh, vice versa. So this is uh, what is known as inversion. Uh, the next type of inversion is coupling rod of locomotive or double crank mechanism. Uh, here you can see that uh, there are four links. Uh, link 4 is fixed and link 1, 2, 3 are removable. Uh, here uh, they are given two wheels at the left end and right end. The wheel in the left end is uh, connected to link 1 and the wheel in right end is uh, connected to link 3. Uh, hence uh, the, li uh, uh, the link wheel and link 1 they are both are same. They are not different links. They are single link. And link 3 and the right side wheel they are also same. They are single link. They are not different links. So uh, we can see how does this works. In this mechanism, the length of link AD and uh, length of link BC is fixed. That is, they are same. And also, the link length of link AB and the length of link DC are also same. So, when the link uh, 1 is rotating in clockwise direction, the wheel left wheel also rotates along with that. And hence, the motion is transmitted from link 1 to link 3 and uh, through link 2. Here, link 2 is a connecting rod and uh, the rotary motion is transmitted from link 1 to link 3 by intermediate uh, connecting rod called uh, link 2. 
so uh, this type of mechanism uh, you might have seen in uh, uh, railway locomotives or railway uh, bogies uh, one wheel is rotating and it transmits motion from uh, uh, <coughs> one wheel to another wheel by uh, connecting rods so that is exactly similar to that this uh, mechanism so we shall see the last inversion what straight line mechanism or double lever mechanism here you can see that there are four links link a b link uh, b d and link d e and the fixed hinges they are link single link here um in this mechanism when links a b and d e uh, act as levers at ends a and e of these levers are fixed the link a b and d e are parallel in mean position of the mechanism and coupling rod bd is perpendicular to the levers ab and de on any small displacement of the mechanism the tracing point c traces the shape of number 8 a portion of which will be approximately straight so when the link ab is uh, um, moving uh, it is fixed with uh, link uh, bd and de so when it is moving it will trace the link bd it will trace some small uh, displacement and this displacement uh, um, shows exactly the uh, shape of the letter uh, or number 8 it will trace small displacement and uh, it will be in the shape of number 8 so this is how this uh, link works a portion of which will be approximately straight so this is how uh, we can obtain different inversions of a uh, uh, four bar mechanism by um, changing the fixed points thank you guys